Hello students, Eric Maggotson here again. I want to introduce the idea of an absolute cell reference. This is another key to really understanding and making Excel easy. So let me show you what I have. What I have is I have five people that have worked so many hours. Now they were hired to do a job and each person was paid $10 an hour. So I'm going to put $10 an hour down here. Now, by putting $10 an hour in each cell, that makes it very easy for me to calculate how much each person earned gross. So I can come here and say equals B2, Bob's hours, times the amount per hour that Bob makes. So Bob make, made $100 an hour. Now, of course, I can go ahead and drag and fill this down. And what's going to happen within the formula is you notice that each cell iterates. Let me double click on the first one. You can see this one is adding Bob's 10 hours to $10 an hour. This one, Jackie's 15 hours with $10 an hour, and so on. So as I drug down, it iterated the formula down to the next row. Now, the problem with this is certainly if I only have five employees, this is easy to do. But let's say I had a thousand. I would essentially have a thousand cells that contained the same value in each cell. Now this becomes highly inefficient if let's say next time I do this, each person made twelve dollars. Now someone is probably saying, oh, well what if they made fourteen? I could just grab this and copy it down. And if you notice, because I'm using those dynamic formulas, my values are changing. But again, we have this redundancy that exists here. So let's go ahead and eliminate that redundancy. I'm going to highlight all these and delete. What we do instead is we create what's called an absolute cell. So remember, we started out with $10, and I'm going to format this in currency, in the accounting function, into $10. Now what I want to do is I want to have the total amount earned show up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function using this absolute cell. I'm going to say equals b2 times g2. But notice that if I just leave it as g2 and hit enter, my first value is going to work. But as I fill, the other values aren't going to fill in. Why is that? Because if you notice, let me double click here, it's iterating each cell. So it knew to go down here, it went down here. There's nothing in this cell here. So consequently, it can't fill it in. That means we have to do something to this value G2 to tell Excel absolutely use G2 with every single function. And the way we do that most easily is highlight G2 and press the F4 key on your keyboard. That's right above the numbers, right above the dollar sign, F4. And what that does is it says, multiply B2 times the absolute value in G absolute 2. Now, I don't want to get into the fact that we can create absolutes that, that would iterate horizontally and vertically. We just want one absolute value. So, I'm going to say enter, and if you notice, we get the same amount. Now, when we fill down, we get the correct amounts. Let's go look at the formula here. Here this iterated to B3 times the absolute value of G2. Here in C4, B4 times the absolute value of G2. B5 to G2. So now suddenly the great thing is when I have a thousand employees each making $10 an hour, I only have to change this one box. Remember we said we went to $12. 
I'm going to put a 12 in there. Hit enter. I want you to watch right here as I hit the enter key. Are you ready? One, two, three, enter. There we go. Now suddenly Bob made 120, Jackie 180, and so on. So this is another aspect of understanding and making Excel easy. Have a great day.